So we had such a great start to the season that I thought we'd be able to, uh, you know, go into a recording studio and do something a little bit, you know, just to celebrate how well we've been doing in the league and just showcasing how well we've been doing as well. His name's Craig David from Bo Selector. Me and GW are gonna come and get ya. Yeah, we started really well beating Zaragoza. By picking up three points against Leah Nazer. We followed up that with a win against Granada. 100% record even against Huesca. Copa del Rey, we shit on Asasuna. Walking all over D Tarragona. Going tits up against Almeria. A 3 0 no loss against. A 3 0 no loss? What's going on there, G? God, you gotta sort this out. Others, I'll sort you out once and for all. You bastard. Yeah. All right. Hey everyone, and welcome back to When I Say Bo, You Say La Liga with me, GWFM. I hope you enjoyed that little sort of rap attempt. Uh, but yeah, you can see us now outside Hooters again. This is where Craig likes to frequent, and he's uh, got me to come down quite a few times. So, today we've got a game against uh, Albacete Balompe. I want to say is how I actually say it. It might be some other pronunciation. Let's have a look, though, at how we've been doing in the other games leading up to this, this particular game. Just going back onto that rap scene sort of thing, I want to thank two people in particular uh, for helping us out with that. Uh, one is G-Land. Um, basically, he's doing something... Uh, he's got his own like um, series at the minute, which is it's looking pretty good at the minute. It's early stages, of course. Is it? Well, I think he's about 29 episodes in, but he's, he's early stages. He's just approaching 100 subs to help him get there. What it is, is he uh, has, has done something similar. He's got like two people on at the same time. Uh, two of himself, should I say, at the same time. And I just picked his brains and asked him how what it was I had to do. And he, he let us know. So, legend, mate. Cheers. The other person, of course, is my old mate, Bood FM. If You probably heard of him, if you've heard of me, most likely, I would guess. Uh, but yeah, he basically, he was the one who put the, um, the seed in my head. Um, don't take it like that, you dirty bastards. To do like a bit of a rap sort of thing. So I hope I did you proud, mate. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed making it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as, as I did making it, basically. So, anyway, into previous results. We, obviously, last episode beat Zaragoza 2-1. And it was all plain sailing from there, as explained in the rap. And we had Leonese, our cultural Y... I don't know why it's Y. Ye Deportiva Leonese. Uh, we beat them 3-1 away from home. Where, thanks to goals from uh, Vitolo, Giovanni and uh, Casadesis, which uh, I've been given a suggestion uh, to call him Crap Jesus. I may change it to that. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. It was Alteria, uh, Alternate... I can't even remember now. It's Al Alter Alternative Media Wales, I believe that's what it is. He's, he's given suggestions before the life at Leeds. So apologies if I just butchered your name there, mate. Uh, then we followed it up with a, a decent 4-2 home win against Granada. Uh, Tyrone Hian, Juan Villa, should I say, Suzo and Sanz with the goals. Uh, different goal scores, it seems, every time. And then we had an away game against uh, Sam Jose, so any Leeds fans out there, they'll know that he came from Huesca. And uh, we beat them quite with, with a, a decent performance. A bit of a fail, uh, it has to be said. If you haven't seen it already, it's featured on the latest fail of the week. Uh, Adolfo Gutierrez, he scored the only goal in that game. Uh, and then we had the first, uh, sorry, the second round of the Copa del Rey, and we trounced Osasuna 4 1 uh, with relative ease. Again, four different scorers. Did Thomas get his first goal for the club? Diaz, or Diaz, who was a loan signing, I'll show you him shortly. Suzo and Giovanni as well, getting on the score sheet. And then we continued the form again against uh, Gymnastique, uh, I don't know if I said Steak, but anyway, the Tarragona. Uh, we beat them 3 1 away from home thanks to an own goal, which again was on the fail of the week. Go check it out. I'm trying to plug me on other serious sort of thing. The fail of the week. Uh, Suzo and Crap Jesus or Casadesis. Um, let us know. Just uh, make a decision for us. Uh, I can't, I'm so undecisive, it seems. And things were looking swimmingly. It were, it were, everything was going falling into place. Everyone was playing really well. And then the next two games happened. We had Almeria, who were 20th at the time. And. Obviously, we've got the, the, the red card, but we were 1-0 down anyway. 
I made all change all my changes, so I ended up playing a midfielder at right back, so that wasn't really handy. But we ended up losing 2 0 at home. Um Again, against a poor side in my opinion it was very disappointing then we had another home game this time against a team we trounced 4 one in the Copa, Copa del Rey and we got beat 3-0 this time no red cards or anything to, to speak of this time to ruin our chances and yeah it was just a shocking performance and, and hence why Craig Davids uh, come down hard with me calling me a bastard and whatever but hopefully we can put it right uh, in today's game against Albacete, Albacete uh, Balompi. Let's have a look at them now. Uh, they are a obviously a team. Great logic there, G. They're obviously a team, clearly, but they're a team that's not really featured much in the higher echelons of the Spanish in, of Spanish football. But they've had a couple of seasons in the top division, in the top flight, back in the early 2000s. Uh, look at their manager, Jose Manuel Era. Some, something you dry your towels on, I think. Uh, tactical knowledge is six, so I'm, I'm expecting to absolutely destroy this team. If I'm being completely honest, with a manager with a manager with a tactical knowledge of six, I'll be very disappointed if we don't win against them. Uh, the key player, we're just going to look at them. Uh, the, the manager and the key player, uh, just try and keep it as short as possible. Uh, the way I'm trying to do things anyway now is the left back. Going back onto the subject, no noble jazz, Xavi noble jazz looks decent to be fair to him. Uh, the only thing really for me that lets him down is probably his determination, but otherwise, a solid player. Probably getting my team at, le at left back. I'm not going to lie, he's valued at a million quid, so we don't have any money. So that's why I've had to I've had to loan. Speaking of loans, we got Brahim Diaz. It was the only option that would come. Uh, we had several offers for certain players um, accepted, but they opted to go elsewhere. Uh, we've got Brahim Diaz from Manchester City. Don't know why it took me such a, an effort to say that, but anyway. And aside from the, the few green arrows that have appeared recently, looks decent. We have been spectacular. There's a lot to work on. Is it an attacking midfielder, like primarily, but as in like an advanced playmaker? But we have got him to play here as like an advanced playmaker type player. Maybe if we need a little bit of creativity towards the later stages, might be able to bring him on and he make a difference. But going back onto uh, Albacete, um, I'm going to have a look at the history. And they've actually got, uh, they've won the division that we're in at the minute, uh, back in 1991. Uh, and they've got a couple like the lower divisions, like trophies. So nothing really much to speak of that's like, you know, like big hitters would be boasting about. But nonetheless, I would imagine they're still going to be a, a fairly tough side. I think they did actually get promoted last season. So yeah, they, they are going to be probably on a high as a result. Right, so the team for today's game. Uh, it's going to be a bad in goal. Um, I'm trying to rotate the keepers. He's obviously got a lot of potential as a bad, so I'm trying to play him as much as I can. Uh, we're going to have Luis Perez at right back. We're going to have Iriondo at left back. We've Jorge and Avaldano in the central defensive positions. We've got Vitolo and Sanz. That looks like it's going to be a familiar looking partnership in the middle of the park. We've Kamara at the left and Souza on the right. Uh, De Thomas and Casadesis. Uh, crap Jesus, let us know. I keep saying it, I keep pestering. Tell me to shut up. Just leave a comment saying, shut up G, you idiot. Um, but anyway, let's get into the game. Let's see if we can, you know, get back on track because obviously we were flying high. Speaking of flying high, we are currently second, but we were obviously top and we were about four points clear at one point. And it's just all gone tits up, as mentioned in the in the song. So, other, other news is we've got Tarragona, Gymnastic de Tarragona, in the next round of the Copa, Copa del Rey. And yeah, we're hoping to get back on track in the league. As mentioned, let's do this. Today's game is brought to you live from the Estadio Helidoro Rodriguez Lopez. It's Club Deportivo Tenerife versus Albacete Balompi. Right, so obviously we've had a bad run of results last two games. We've not conceded, sorry, we've not scored a goal, but we've conceded five. I'm going to say we need to step up, step up our game here to put an end to our recent run of bad results. See what happens. A bit of motivation. I'm quite pleased with that, and then I'm going to calmly give a bit of faith. Uh, the trick is, in my opinion, this is it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. Uh, morale is key. You can only keep bollocking in so much. If it gets like okay, I try and shy away from bollocking. Just try and stay unlucky. Dependent, obviously, if you get beat 10 0 then obviously you're going to be angry. But the idea is, you know, morale is key in this game. Uh, let's see if it if it makes a difference. Now I've tried to be calm with them as well. Uh, I think find that that helps. We'll give a, you know, the the standard handshake. Let's see if we can. Let's get back on trap now, boys. Come on. I don't mind said boys, but I meant boys. But anyway. So we're going to kick off, going from right to left. Probably just a false highlight, as per usual. But uh, yeah, still, I'm still trying to get used to some of the names as well. 
Right, we've got first highlight of the game, and it's Nadal taking a you know break from tennis to take a goal kick. Um, but yeah, it's cleared away. Dana Rodriguez hands Ivan Carrillo. It's a good tackle, but it's fallen to Josen on the right hand side. And it's coming down the right, down, coming down the wing, and somehow ends up coming away with the ball. I don't know how. And now it's Carril. Back to Arroyo. Rodriguez, square, back to the right back. And now it's Josan. Infield it goes to Karnica. Karnica. Gila, back to Karnica again. They're pretty deep at the minute. Vitello puts in a good challenge, and now it's given away to Luis. Luis, Luis, how do you pronounce it? Suzo. Back to Luis. He's looking to get by his man. He's looking for options. He's struggling to find one, but eventually he does find Suzo. Plays it forward to Casadesis. Now it's to Thomas. It's one on one with the keeper. What a save. And it comes out to Iriondo. Can he? Is the chance gone? Can he get, whip it back in? It's a poor ball in truth, and Nadal just gobbles it up like a prostitute. But anyway, Kamara feeds to Thomas. It's a bit of a loose ball. It's fine. Suso. Oh, it's a bit of a mix up there. I thought he could have squared it, but never mind. It's still nil nil. Quite an eventful first couple of minutes. Sands with the corner. Whips it in. It's headed away by Josan. Back to Sands, the corner taker. Can he whip it in? First time. It's a low cross. Vitola smashes it into Arios. I want to say his ball sack because he went down like he'd, like a sack of shit, but he got back up again pretty quick, so maybe not. And then Rodriguez can clear this away. He's calmly passed it to Carril. And it's Sanchez first time ball to Gila. It's a counter attack in full in full flow now for Albacete, but then it's won back again by Juan Camara, which I'm tempted to call Juan Ke because it's Juan and then Ke, you know. Right, it's a corner, and Sanchez will whip it in. It's headed away by Alvadano and De Thomas. Now he's got a lot of space to run in front of him without any real opposition. He's got a couple of defenders. Well, a defender coming across now. It's a crossfield ball to Sands. Sands has scored a few goals this season already. Kamara whips it in towards the back post. There's about eight players at the back post and they haven't scored. What's going on there? Right, a little bit of a break there, but now is another highlight. Iriondo looking for options. Finds De Thomas squares. Come really deep. Now it's Kamara. What can he do? He plays it towards Vitolo. It's headed away, but it's fallen to Casadesis and it's gone wide. Crap, Jesus, whatever. Good chance. See, I always find that this tactic is quite entertaining. Um, apart from obviously when you can see Sanchez has headed it back across. It was heads away, it's a poor header to Carril. That's a shot, it's hit the bar. I've just realised I don't have the match stats on it. Rectify that right now. Yeah, we've had four clear cut chances to their none. Uh, but yeah, it's still pretty even. But yeah, I'd like to think this tactic is quite exciting in terms of creating chances and, you know, potentially conceding chances as well. Um, it's very rare on key highlights. You have a dull game where there's hardly any highlights. This is on key highlights, by the way. Suso finds Casadesis. Can he find an overlap in run? He does. He finds Vitolo. He's got a few options now. He finds Sands somehow. The defender for me should have done better. Thomas is in and finally scores. It's 1-0. Come on. First goal in three games. Not for him. It might be, actually, but for the whole team. And... Yeah, it's very pleasing. This ball, for me, could have been cut out by number two, uh, but he played like a number two um, and should have been flushed down the toilet. Never mind. 1-0. Right, it's a highlight just before half-time. We've got a deserved lead at the moment. Let's not let it slip. Come on, lads. Let's find, uh, you know, players in space. Here's De Thomas, who's dropped deep again. Playing as a false nine, of course. Kamara loses the ball sloppily, but Sands wins it back. Tough tackling, aggressive type midfielder. Very pleased to have it. It's another goal for De Thomas right before half time. Near post. Keeper, not really a chance, really. I mean, you could argue it's near post. You should do better, but from that close range, you know, you had to bat De Thomas. Yeah, ball comes out here. Here under first time ball. Nice little pass. And Kamara making amends for his falling over earlier on. Crosses, low cross, near post. Um, I've heard Boots say it's his favourite type of cross. I must admit, there's quite a lot of goals scored from that sort of position. But. It is half time, it's 2 0. I'm going to definitely say something about complacency because obviously it's going to confuse people, but I'm going to passionately say I've got faith to try and rectify that, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working. I uh, kind of did. But anyway, uh, Vitello's not been playing the best, but I'm going to tell him to, you know, to calm down to avoid getting a yellow card. I've been told, and I've not used it that often, but every time I haven't, it hasn't happened yet. That if you say calm down, they don't seem to get a second yellow card, but let's wait and see. So the second half is underway. Right, there's a highlight. Ten minutes or so into the second half. Alvadano's won it well. Sands plays it forward to De, Tomo De Thomas. He makes an awesome spin. And an, an awesome first touch. That's a hatchet for De Thomas. Getting deja vu here from like something like Samu says in real life for Leeds. But uh, yeah, he's, it's not so much his debut though, is it? So shut up, G. 
Um, De Thomas get it here, squared it Casadeus, he played it back, nice little one two, nice little first touch there and smashes it from 20 yards out so keeper maybe could have done better but I'm not complaining, it's 3-0. And with that in mind, I'm going to make all my changes. So 3 0 up, of course, in really. Brian Diaz is going to come on. I'm going to switch it to advanced playmakers as a central midfielder, see what happens. Adolfo Gutierrez is coming on, uh, the young 16 year old lad for Suzo, which means the captain change is going to see Sands become the captain again. Giovanni is going to come on for Rowdy Thomas, getting his applause as he goes off. Uh, pretty straightforward game for him. Three goals, can't be happy really. Well, I was hoping for something to happen, but there's not been a single highlight since. I'm guessing this is going to be the end of game highlight. 3-0 win, quite comprehensive. I can't really complain. It's uh, Tizers get back on uh, back on form, as it as it were. We're hoping it's going to kickstart a season again. I don't want too many uh, bad results. Obviously, you know, logic, you know, football manager logic, and you know, let's have bad results. Why would anyone want bad results? But anyway, enough jibber jabber. 3-0, fantastic win. Let's tell them uh, exactly that. Well, yeah. Um, very happy. I'm going to say very happy because I was. Morale was a bit shot to shit. Uh, we've rectified that now. We've gone back top of the league thanks to Cadiz losing. Yeah, they lost 3 1 to Cordoba. Or Cordoba, however you pronounce it. But yeah, it's a bit of a, a strange one, really, because normally I'm used to seeing the possession stat above. Uh, the opposition, but they did quite a number on us in terms of possession there. But the key one is, well, the key one is 3 0. But you, you've got to be creating chances to get it 3 0, to be fair. Uh, unless you unless it's when you get FM and they have like two shots and win 2 0, like um, Almeria did. But anyway, I digress. So that's a fantastic result for us. Uh, let's have a look and see when, when we're going to be coming back. And I think, like I said, I'm going to play a large chunk of games again. Um, it's going to be try, try. I'm going to try and make it quite a, a quick series if I can, um, because obviously FM 18s, you know, not, not that, that it, it seems far away, but it's not really. If you think about it, we're only what three months off, and if I'm doing five years, I, I best make a move, and I really and, and try and get on. But I'm going to come back for the Rail Valladolid game. Um, reason being, Rail Valladolid, I'm sh pretty sure they've had some uh, some history. Quite recently in the uh, in La Liga Santander, so that's who we're going to be coming back for. It's a home game. It's an it's a Sunday evening game. I forgot most of the games are on the Sunday evening now. Of course they are. So yeah, we're going to come back for the Valladolid game. Hopefully you can join us for it. Right, so that is it, guys. Uh, end of the episode, of course. Uh, Craig's been wanting us to go back to who it was like pretty much every single after every single game. Uh, it's like a bit of a ritual thing. I I don't think it's a ritual thing, I think it's more for, well, I'll let you decide what the reason is, it's Hooters after all. Come on, uh, G, Craig David's got your pint of lager. I won't be a set, mate. But yeah, um, hopefully you can join us for the next one. Hopefully you have enjoyed this one. If you have, why not go ahead and press that like button. If that's him off, if you to subscribe. And yeah, hopefully you join us for the next one where we take on Rail Valladolid. But until then, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.